the 1980s, the decade of leg warmers Pac-Man and that time the almost mythical computer was Time's Man of the Year. But in 1983 the world also came very close to being destroyed and all because of a computer malfunction. Almost 20 years after the Cuban Missile Crisis, on the 26th of September 1983, a 44-year-old Russian Stanislav Petrov was working as a duty officer at one of Russia's nuclear warning systems when a report came in that their arch enemy, the US, had just launched a missile and it was heading straight for Russia. The alarm went off four more times, telling him that in total five nuclear warheads were heading for his home country. Both sides in the Cold War were mad in that they had a policy of mutually assured destruction. That meant if either one launched a missile, the other would immediately retaliate, no matter the consequences. Unfortunately, those consequences were the destruction of at least most of the Northern Hemisphere and the entire First World. So Stanislav had a decision to make, arguably the toughest decision ever. Either sit tight and do nothing, hoping that the warning system was wrong, or abiding by strict Russian military protocol, Attempt to launch a retaliatory attack, which, if the missile system was in fact wrong, would be Russia striking first and the USA would go absolutely mad. Given that you're still sitting there watching this video quite happily, you can probably guess what happened. Stanislav reasoned that if the US was to launch an attack, it wouldn't only send five measly missiles when they, at the time, had more than 20,000 of them. So he decided to wait out. Luckily, he was right and the missiles never appeared. That's because the detection system that was supposed to protect the Soviet Union from total annihilation was tricked by sunlight bouncing off some clouds. Stanislav wasn't commended or rewarded for his decision. Instead, in true Soviet fashion, they said his correct actions were duly noted. It has since been argued that the decision would have had to have been referred to his superiors and they would have looked for corroborating reports from other systems before launching the attack. So maybe Stanislav isn't the saviour of all mankind, but he did get a documentary film made about him. However, there is one Russian who came even closer to causing a nuclear apocalypse, and an event in his life was made into a film with Harrison Ford and Liam Neeson, so he kind of wins on both levels. People often call October 1962 the closest the world has ever come to ending because it was the month of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Super quick rundown of that. The Russians and the Americans don't like each other. They've both got big bombs. Russia wants to put its bombs here. But America doesn't really like that idea one bit. They sat in boats in the sea for a while threatening each other until the Russians eventually backed down and they all lived happily ever after. However, you can actually pinpoint a day and decision that, if made incorrectly, would have ensured destruction of a large proportion of the world. And it was made by just three people. And they were stuck in a submarine miles below the sea. And only one of them made the right choice. Vasily Arkhipov was second in command of the B-59 submarine off the coast of Cuba. Remember, that's where the Americans don't want the Russians. So a group of US Navy ships began dropping depth charges to try and force the submarine to surface. The crew had two options, go to the surface and be sent back to Mother Russia with their tail between their legs and probably face some sort of punishment, or deep dive and try and evade the Americans. They chose the one that wouldn't make them outcasts in their homeland. Unfortunately, at that depth, they could no longer communicate with the Russian command or hear US civilian radio signals. This led the captain to fairly wildly assume that the war had broken out and say that they should launch their nuclear warheads, a move which would have once again made the Americans very mad. The political officer on the sub also agreed. Fortunately, Vasily also got a say because he was the commander of the entire submarine flotilla. Vasily was also well liked among the crew because of an event the previous year in which he was in a sub that was nearing nuclear meltdown. They all evaded certain death by cobbling together an engineering crew to replace the broken cooling system. Great success! Well, when I say they all evaded certain death, the engineering team were an exception as they all died within the next month from radiation overdoses. Anyway, Vasily decided not to launch. The decision had to be unanimous and therefore Vasily single-handedly prevented all-out nuclear war. They resurfaced and returned home to Russia. However, they once again weren't celebrated. One admiral even told them it would have been better if you had gone down with your ship. This event wasn't even revealed to the world until 2002. The US Secretary of Defense said, we came very close to nuclear war, closer than we ever knew at the time. And an advisor for the JFK administration continued, this was not only the most dangerous moment of the Cold War, it was the most dangerous moment in human history. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more, subscribe and like. And if there's a subject that you want me to do a video on, leave it down in the comments and I'll do some research and get back to you.
Cheers. Bye.